You know that feeling when you work really hard on an edit for like a client or your personal Instagram? You go ahead and get it all set up, get it ready for the reels or the stories or just for a regular post. And you go ahead, click post, and this is what happens. Today I wanted to make a quick video just on how I try to avoid compression and quality loss in the posts and reels and stories that I put on Instagram. I'll go ahead and show the exact workflow, the export settings that I use, but in essence, the way that compression works on Instagram or kind of like just a basic compression uh, sort of background is that every time you transfer a file from its original source to another source, there is some form of compression typically. So the things that you want to avoid right off the bat are the number of steps it takes to get from your original source video to where you're gonna post it from. So you don't wanna take a number of steps from getting your video from your laptop to your phone, for example. Real quickly, let me show you the export settings I use for my videos in Premiere Pro for Instagram specifically, but these sort of tips and standards work for any program. I did a lot of video on my phone and these sort of things apply in the same sense. Let's hop right in. All right, so I've got a post that I have prepared for my Instagram Reels right here. This is the project file in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, it's a 15 second file. Just, these are all shots I took on my DSLR, but this sort of technique, or not even a technique, just this, this quote unquote tutorial works for any video file or any type of video, iPhone video, whatever, once you have it in your editing software. So all you really need to do is make sure that your sequence settings are correct. So first of all, frames per second, you want it at 30, typically mine is 29.97, and then the key here is that you do not want your video size different. You want it exactly the way that you're gonna end up using it on your platform. So for, for instance, Instagram Reels, the aspect ratio is nine to 16. It's 1080 by 1920. You wanna make sure that these numbers are exactly what you want for your final output. If you're posting it on your feed, for example, and you want a four by five aspect ratio, make sure that it's four by five in your original source video. Next up, I keep the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels 1.0, fields don't change, progressive display format, don't change that, 29.97. In the audio, the sample rate, I keep it at 44,100. The audio sample is the same, don't touch the preview file format. And then finally, I have maximum bit depth, maximum render quality, click maximum render quality. I have composite and linear color selected, none projection, that's it, okay. Now what you do is you go in, File, Export, Media, Format, H.264, Match Source High Bitrate. You can name the file, whatever you wanna name it. Make sure you export the video and the audio. I don't have any effects checked. Make sure that you use maximum render quality in your final export. And then you go ahead and press Export, and that's it. You have your video file ready from Premiere Pro. Now the key here, the high stress point that I wanna to relay to you guys is that you don't want to, what you really don't wanna do, you don't wanna iMessage this file to yourself, you don't want to email it to yourself, you don't wanna use a third party sort of export function, some sort of like transfer service. You can use WeTransfer or some sort of transfer service if there's just one transfer, you're going directly uploading it and then you're downloading it on whatever device that you use. However, I typically don't do that what ensures the highest quality possible is I simply airdrop this to my phone. If you have a, an Android, like I don't know how you do this with Androids or non-Mac devices, but airdrop works the best. So I'll go ahead and airdrop this to myself and then I'll show you an Instagram what I do next. All right, once you're on Instagram, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and upload a reel. So I'll press plus, reel. I'll go ahead and select the video that I wanna post. So the video looks clean, looks sharp, you don't wanna add any effects, you don't want any GIFs, you don't want any sort of like script, you don't wanna to touch the video, you wanna minimize the amount of compression, you don't wanna play around with the video at this point. Any edit you wanna do, you wanna do in your editing software, you purely just wanna post this at this point. So I'll add, preview, you don't wanna to touch any settings, you're just gonna to go to share to. Now you select your caption, Make sure you click also share to feed for reels. Specifically, that's a good tip in order to increase the 
the views and sort of the spread, the reach that it gets. And now all you gotta do is make sure you press share. Also, another tip is make sure you have the best Wi-Fi or 4G or 5G possible. That ensures that there's a good connection from your Instagram to the network. You'll go ahead, press share, and you're good to go. Again, the keys here are A, you wanna make sure that your video file is the exact dimensions of your final output source. So for instance, for Reels, that's 1080 by 1920. The other thing is that you want to minimize the amount of times that you transfer this file. You wanna make sure it's direct to source or direct from source, I guess. From your laptop, wherever you're editing from, if it's on your phone, just straight off your phone, make sure you export the highest quality settings possible. And then once you transfer that, to your phone or to your device that you're posting this from, you go ahead and you don't tamper with it. Make sure you're in a good place with some good Wi-Fi, good vibes, maybe a coffee, and you go ahead and press share. I've seen a lot of videos where you have to go ahead and connect your Facebook, you have to have this, you have this, la la la. For me at least, I haven't had to do any sort of like third party stuff or just, you know, try to download this, use that. It's not that, it's not that difficult. If you're having trouble with this, make sure to comment below. If you have any other tips or advice for other people, make sure you comment below as well. I really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and press subscribe. It means a lot, it helps my channel a lot. Click like, please comment and share this, turn on your post notifications. I'll be back again shortly on the channel. So please stay tuned. As always, see you guys next time. <laughs>